Yeah, 200 horsepower. Like a Yamaha. I had a Yamaha DT-125. If you ride it, you repair it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I have one like that at the shop. I thought about selling it, uh -huh. but decided against it. If we run out of oil, it'll be useful. Nice bike. <laughs> so what's this workshop of yours? Oh, that? I put together all sorts of bikes. After that, I sell them. Speaking of... You can drop by if you want to check them out. I'll let you ride a classic. Thanks, I will. <laughs> Victor. Piston. Piston? Well, you know. Oh. That's what the girls call me. I hooked up with one the other day. Great ass. Yeah. You can check her out if you like. She's on her way. Right. Hey. Hey, babe. Gatti, hold on. Who's this? You know each other? Yeah, he's my dad. Let's go. Oops, that's embarrassing. Hey, hey! Leo, don't even start. It's only been five minutes. But if the walrus starts asking about me, tell him I came on time, okay? Okay. That's gonna cost you half your salary. If you're late again, I'll take the rest of it. Hold on, that's not fair. You're on trash duty all day for calling me a walrus. Now that is fair. Right? Okay. You want to take my place? Don't even think about it. No way. Hey, bro, listen. Think I took a wrong turn. Come again? Hello? Hey, Schumacher. Move your car, will you? People can't walk when you're here. Well, they'll walk around it. Yeah? No, they won't. So move your car away right now before I do something. Or what? You know what? You're right. It's garbage. Any more questions, moron? Just one. You a fast runner? What do you care? Hey there. Hey, Dad, why do you keep calling me? What's wrong? Where were you? I kept calling but couldn't get a hold of you since yesterday. I was busy. With what? With that guy? So what? So what? He's a degenerate. From now on, I forbid you to go out with him. Mm, oh, is that so? Do you have any idea why they call him Piston? You know what? I do. <sighs> it's because he inflates the wheels on his bikes using just his hand. What are you doing? Cut it out now, you'll break my spine. Your spine? I thought you were a snake. <laughs> yeah, very funny. Did you swallow a toad? <laughs> oh, screw you. <laughs> you have to hold your breath. <gasps> ah. <laughs> I know what to do with that. <gasps> Are you nuts? Give it to me, you lunatic! Hey, Max. Go to table seven right now. Seven? Well, I didn't cook for them. Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. They're asking for a shameless cook with big ears. You a pussy? Yeah, you wish. Then let's go. All right. Hey, hey. The other way, bud. Move now. Come on. Mm. 
Oh, here comes our hero. Why don't you sit with us? No, sorry, we're not really allowed to do that. Let's take it outside then, you'll lie down. <laughs> Come on, we need to talk. Okay then, I have a dish cooking back in the kitchen. I'll just wrap it up and then we'll talk. Okay, then go wrap that... wrap that, uh... Get a move on, we're waiting for you! He just pisses me off. Hey, man. Why am I here? You really have no idea? Yeah. We didn't hit it off yesterday. Sorry about that, man. Peace. What's this? Well, you need money. I need a daughter, but I don't need you. Got it? How much is in here? Two thousand. <whistles> My man. <laughs> is she your only daughter? Okay. I'm out. Ugh. Yeah, get out of here, pussy. Superman, how much longer is that gonna take, huh? And take your nuts with you, you're gonna need them. Yeah, sure. I'll be there. Hurry up. Hey, Leo. I feel dizzy, and also, my head, it's kind of spinning. I think it's high blood pressure. I need to go home and lie down. No problem. Go home, I'll fill in for you. conscience at all apparently not what's wrong you two had a fight take your money he told me everything he told you i mean no uh, what money oh god you're so pathetic dad hey you why did you rat me out to my own daughter I just saw that caddy's so beautiful and so nice that 2000 just doesn't cut it. So give me four grand, and you'll never see me again. Okay. Meet me in the courtyard in an hour, and don't be late, got it? He took 200. I can't believe that guy. Downright pathetic. Tim? Hey there. Can I ask you something? How do you handle a conflict with your fellow countrymen? Why are you asking? Don't tell me you're not gonna pay me! It's not about you. Um, I just want to know, how do you guys sort it out? Ah, <laughs> there are two options here. Number one is we just have a shootout. What's number two? That one's really not that great. You have to arrange a dinner for everybody. Ah, I see. Uh, and what kind of dinner? Well, think shish kebab, you understand? Well, yeah, good meat and good wine. Should do the trick. Uh-huh. Thank you. Take care. Bye. What's taking that guy so long, huh? You done? Let's go. Hold on. Uh, I want us to talk peacefully. That's why I brought you guys some good meat and good wine. But don't worry about paying. It's all on me, okay? Well, let's try it. What kind of meat is this? Oh, well, it's only the tenderest pork cooked according to an old French recipe. Oops. I mixed it up. It's not for you. Yours is being cooked right now. Hang on, one sec. You have six seconds, we'll be by the car. It just pisses me off. Uh. 
Hey there, man. Got something for me? Leave my daughter alone. I will. Give me the money. See this? Here's your money. If I see you here again, I'll shove your feet in your mouth. Got it? Oh, really? I'm not as flexible as Caddy. Dad, no! Stop off. it! Get off me. I only came here to talk, and he suddenly assaults me. Don't listen to him. He came here to collect four grand and then break up with you. Four grand? Really? Where is it? Not here. Well, I just... I didn't mean to attack him anyway. He provoked me. <gasps> Arthur? Theodore? We wanted to play baseball. Yeah, yeah. And I'm the pitcher. <gasps> so am I. Didn't mean to attack him, huh? I can't stand to look at you anymore! Hold on, I had nothing to do with any of this. Got there? Okay, now I want seven grand. Got it, Daddy-o? Sweetheart, let's go! <gasps> Chef. Hey, guys. I need your help. I had an argument with a group of clowns. Sorry, rookie. We have our own war. We're helping the chef. His daughter is dating some biker. We've shoot him away. If he shows up again in these parts, we'll have to kick his butt. You're on your own, rookie. Good luck. Hey, Tim. I have a problem. Well, I did warn you. The shrimps are not the freshest. I don't care about that. So listen, I got in trouble with some of your countrymen. They're waiting for me outside. What do you say? Can you help me out? Those guys are waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, sure, no problem, bro. <laughs> I'll have a word with them for you. Really? <laughs> Thanks, I owe you. You don't owe me anything. Just forget about what I told you about the shrimps. <laughs> okay. Sammy, come on. Hello, Kati, wait, no, don't hang up. Listen to me first. Uh, are you listening? Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, I was wrong. I want to apologize for everything. Come to the restaurant tonight. Yes, bring him along. Well, Chad, dinner's on me. Come on, Kati, I beg you, come over, do it for me. I... Good, good. I can't wait. Take care. Yes! Let the show... Begin. How'd it go? Everything went great, bro. We've sorted everything out. One of them owns a shop, so soon we're gonna start selling him some meat. Wait, what about me? Oh, ask Uncle Tim. Sammy! We're all good. 110 pounds three times a week. Cool, Uncle. <laughs> hey, Tim, <laughs> what about my problem? You're in deep, bro. Why didn't you mention the pork earlier? That changes everything. Should I call the police? No. Don't make it worse. You need to go and talk to them and fix it. Okay, thanks, Tim. What do you mean, thanks? Get over there, I promised you'd come. Sure thing. Let me just wrap things up around here. I'll be right back. That's good. I know you know, Coward. Go on then, go wrap that, uh, that, uh, anyway. I'll wait for you outside, Max. We need to do something about it. This is insane. There's one thing that French people do. We need to scare him, but it has to be extreme. Et voila, no more hiccups. Good idea. But if he has a heart attack, I'm pitting it on you. D'accord. By the way, I took a couple of friends with me. I'll be don't mind, Pop. Hello? I need your help. Someone here has appendicitis. Send an ambulance. Address is Main Street 25. Come quick. I thought you were a brave kid, Max. Sorry for what I'm about to do to you, but I'll have to bring you by force. No. no. Don't fight it. I don't have time. I need to leave. Still gotta do other things. Also, Sam called me and said he cut in ahead of some gangster. Come on, please don't be stubborn. You're being a coward, Max. The guests have arrived. Kati with a group of handsome bikers. So buckle up, it's gonna get hectic. Hey, Tim. 
Just one phone call and I'll come. You promise? I swear. Don't let me down, okay? I'll come check on you. Okay, bye. I'll leave through here. Hello, Kathy? Hey there. Hello. What's up with the bikers you brought? Why? Well, it's Monday and we, we weren't expecting anyone. We were taken by surprise. My boyfriend thinks my dad is going to ambush him. Why? What happened? It's a long story. I see. An ambush, huh? <gasps> I've never been so scared in my life. Hey, you think this is funny? Huh? Because I'm telling you right now, it's not funny at all, okay? Leo, you're not stuttering. You're right, I just stopped stuttering. That makes sense. Oh, look at me, I can speak properly. Oh, I can speak properly. I want a proper cup of coffee in a proper copper coffee pot. You can believe it or not, coffee from a proper copper pot. I don't get it, what happened anyway? Kati, and you. I uh, thought it over and uh, realized that I was wrong. You two are meant for each other. That is why I'm giving you my blessing. Really? I don't get it. You look so good together. It makes me happy to look at both of you right now. Mm, is that so? Yeah, with this eye here. Ah, that's great. I like how you put it. Oh, Kati, could you bring me some ice? I need to talk to your dad. <sighs> Hey, I don't get it. I told you seven grand and you won't see me again. You were made for each other. Four grand. No, no, no. You have my blessing. Two. You are so predictable, aren't you? All right, then. Let's go break into my safe box. Bon appetit. There's a bunch of shady men in the courtyard. Your dad must have called them. He's bringing your boyfriend over there. It looks pretty serious. Oh, dad. Hey guys, follow me outside. Here. Two grand? 1,800. Why is that? You took 200 earlier. Let me count it first. <laughs> Have you seen my dad? I have. He's in his office. There was also a guy in a jacket with a scary skull on it. He must be a pirate. I'll go find them. Wait here, okay? Okay. You stay here, and I'll go see what those people want from us. Who are you? I'm Kathy's friend. Thanks, friend. But we'll sort this out. No, you guys will get into a fight. What for, you ask? I'll be quick. Damn. Fine. I'm out. <laughs> oh, there you are. Why would you bring those gangsters over here? Did you want to scare us? What? What's going on here? Go talk to them now, will you? Or they're gonna beat your guys what? up. What? This is a madhouse. Hey guys, I suggest we take it easy. I admit, I overreacted and so did you. But I'm telling you, we have to make peace. My guys here are hardcore. We don't need a war zone here now, do we? What do you say? I agree. I'm sorry. No worries. Okay, you take care. We're leaving. Let's go. Good luck. We'll let you live. What was that? Hey, hey, it's cool. What did you say? Whoa, What's your whoa, problem? Whoa. Who are you talking to? Tell your men not to stir things up, will you? His men? We don't even know this dick. What? He said he was with you guys. Come on, guys. I promise you got it all wrong. Oh, is that so? Why don't you come here now? Hey! Hey! 
Hey, guys! What's going on, huh? That dickhead was trying to pit us against that gang. I wasn't. I knew it. Gotcha! Dad, do something quick. There you are. I've been looking for you all day, rookie. Chef. <laughs> Chef, what's wrong? You forgot to put nutmeg in the big shamel again, idiot. What did I tell you? Nothing's ever enough. Come here, you bastard. You worthless schmuck. I'll show you how it's done. Come on over here. What a beast. I wouldn't want to work for him. Why would he hit him? What the heck's bechamel anyway? I don't want to go back there. What if he stabs my hand with a fork? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Take care. All See right. you. See you. Thank you, chef. Get lost. Sure. <clears throat> go, leave. Well, I should get going now, too. <clears throat> all right. Anyway, Gatti, we need to break up. You're not a good match at all. Hope you understand. Uh, good luck with your love life. Goodbye. No, I don't understand. What's unclear? I don't like you. You liked me an hour ago, and now you don't? I realize you're not my type. You're just loony. Screw you, you moron. Get out of here. Hey, wait, that wasn't part of the deal. What was the deal? Nothing. He's talking nonsense. Everything's settled. I won't give it back until you tell me. Hey, Kati, give him back the keys. We'll discuss this asshole later, okay? What did you call me? An asshole. I see. Well, your father bribed me to break up with you. I see. You both are trading me now? I hate you. Kati, wait. <laughs> asshole. What the heck is going on here? Ambulance now! Yeah. What are you doing? That was quick. So which one of you has appendicitis? It's like Look, my hiccups. They stopped. Sometimes in life, people try to help you without your permission. Sometimes unexpected help holds you back from falling into an abyss. And sometimes, it can hardly be called help. But you know, there's always someone out there for you. Someone who wants to be your shoulder to lean on. 